Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Hi. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh huh. My name is Jory, and this is my lovely wife, Vinnie or me. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to our channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. Thank you. All right, today, today we have something special for you guys. Yes. We have brought the children in to talk about names. Our names. Yes. What's your name? Ali. Who's Ali? Ali. Who's Ali? Ellie. <laughs> so this is subscriber request. <laughs> in our names and what they mean keep on watching yeah. so the first person we're going to start is with um her back there what is your name Bella. introduce yourself arabella and it means beautiful answer to prayer arabella. yes arabella is our firstborn she was born 11 years ago mm -hmm. woo, woo. we picked arabella's name uh beautiful answer to prayer because in the season we were in we had asked god for an answer mm -hmm. as to what we would do continuing with our lives and not long after that, uh, we felt like he gave us this gift of Arabella. And so we named her Beautiful Answer to Prayer. Mm -hmm. That's what her name means, Arabella. All right, our second born is sitting behind me. My name is Javen, and it means whom God has established. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, we were in a season where we were seeking God to give us only what was from him. <laughs> Okay, we wanted his blessing. We wanted him to build our lives. And so when he gave us Jabin, we named him what God has built. Because Jabin is what God has built. And our lives were becoming what God was building. <laughs> Whatever you got to do to keep him entertained. <laughs> okay, you, what's your name? What does your name mean? Nana. Eliana. Eliana, that's right. Eliana. Yes, Eliana means my God has responded to me. Indeed he has. Yes, and Eliana was given that name because she was, was an answer from God to us, a response to us when we cried out for a child because we had lost one mm -hmm. to a miscarriage. So right before Eliana's pregnancy, uh, Biname was pregnant mommy. and we miscarried, she miscarried the baby. Mommy. And uh, we still think about that little one that we'll one day get to meet. Uh, it's a little hard to think about, but we prayed and we, we asked God for more. And he gave us Eliana. So we named her, My God Has Responded to Me. <laughs> right, Katya? Yes. So each of our children's names have meaning, have deep meaning. Uh, we didn't want to name them just whatever uh you know, not just not that other people's names are wrong but the reason we pick these is we pick them very strongly based on meaning not just how they sounded um and and especially you know with arabella i remember us really like almost worrying yeah i don't know if it was worry but we felt the weight oh. of we're gonna name a human a being, human being yeah. and they'll carry that name the yeah. rest of their lives yeah. so we took it very seriously yeah and we sought god and we looked at many names and the meanings of those names and that's how we found the names for arabella javen and eliana with every one we searched yeah and and really prayed about names for them okay so because i have a we have a two-year-old <laughs> We are going to go ahead and excuse the children, and then Jory and I will continue. Can yeah, you guys we'll say finish bye? up. I bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. 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 Bye.
And then we don't expect her to. <laughs> she is so much fun. She is. And awesome to have on camera. Mm -hmm. However, if you need to like actually talk and have a conversation, <laughs> it doesn't work so well. <laughs> yeah, so my name is Jory. Uh, it's a German Jewish name that means flowing down or descending. Mm -hmm. It's a name that is derived from uh, Jordan, like the Jordan River mm -hmm. in Israel. My wife's name, my lovely wife's name, is Biname, or B. <laughs> she usually tells people B, because... Because. It's a little hard to say Biname. Some... People forget. Initially. Initially. Yeah, people forget. So they're like, what? Huh? What's your name? Just call me B. Yeah, she's like, just call me B. Eventually it'll come. <laughs> <laughs> what does your name mean, honey? I don't know what my name means. Yes. Um, but as a nickname, as a nickname, you guys can know that my wife goes by Bien Ame, mm -hmm. which in French means my beloved. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're not sure and you want to call her something other than Bien Ame, mm -hmm. because uh, she searched and searched looking for the meaning of the name Bien Ame mm -hmm. and didn't find much, and what she did find didn't sound too promising. <laughs> um, so if you don't necessarily want to call her that, mm -hmm. and you're trying to remember her name, an easy way to remember is to call her Bien Ame. Mm -hmm. And it was it was crazy because one day during group, yeah, um, one one home group at church, yeah, yeah, like we had like a small uh, group like Bible study, mm -hmm. and um, so I had been struggling and dealing with my name for like years, mm -hmm. and I had just kind of put it to rest. I I know time would have come for me to deal with that again, but like it wasn't as pressing as it was um in the years past. Mm -hmm. So I go to the group and we're like praying for, you know, one another mm -hmm. and like one of the brothers in the group like started prophesying over me and then like out comes situ um something pertaining to my name, y'all, I lost it. <laughs> and I'm usually not a crier, like, but it's like, what is wrong with me? Like, I'm crying in front of these people. I don't even know them. Like, this is intimate. But, like, yeah. to me, it's like, listen, even if we're here and Jesus hits me with, like, one of those I love you moments, y'all, I'm crying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you better just watch. <laughs> you just either watch or change the, uh, you know, the channel. Change but... the channel. <laughs> Right from it was like yeah. so intimate only God would know mm -hmm. like that is a conversation that him and I have had mm -hmm. and so like I've seen that name before mm -hmm. like the French name that he even said and I'm just like this is so beautiful and mm -hmm. it describes exactly who I am right. and and I believe that um, God uh, I don't know. I belong to God and he loves me mm -hmm. like immensely. And I, yeah. I truly believe this. Yeah. And so when he said that, I was just like, oh my gosh. Right. Like, yeah. Have you ever gotten a prophecy right. where it just like, it right. hits? I was going like, to say that. I was going to say that. Only God could have given this right. for me. And that's yeah. how you know, yeah. like God cares. Yeah. About every single detail of your life. Yeah. Is That's that, exactly what I was yeah. just about to say. I was going to ask him the same thing. Yeah. That moment where only God could have said that. Mm -hmm. And it was something so personal to you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have seen the, the movie, the video series or the TV series. Uh, what's it called? Which one? Oh, the chosen. Uh, chosen, the chosen, the chosen. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. If you so when seen it, go see the it. moment, <laughs> there's a moment in there where Jesus talks to Mary Magdalene. Is it Mary Magdalene? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The one with, that was possessed. Was yeah, the one that had yeah. been possessed yep. for, the, for the very first time. And he speaks to her uh, a, a specific thing that, the, that when she was a young girl, her father used to say over her. It was a scripture. Mm -hmm. uh, some, I don't, don't give it away. Yeah, I won't give it away, but doing... watch it. But it's a moment where it's like, yeah. she's like, how could you know this? Known you know, this, she's thinking, yeah. how, how could you have known this? Yeah. This very personal meaningful her father's long since dead mm -hmm. uh, she came from a faraway country mm -hmm. how could he have who is this guy and how could he have known and and spoke straight to her pain straight mm -hmm. to her heart and gave her life and purpose and mm -hmm. meaning mm -hmm. and and that's 
that's what it was like for Bename that night. Oh, it really was. Where it was like, this is your name. Mm -hmm. This is who you are. This is what I call you. Yeah. I'm just excited. Yeah. I was just happy to have that weight lifted. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you've had a dream, like, and people give you interpretations of dr those dreams, they don't sit well with you in your heart. You keep contending with the me uh, the meaning behind mm -hmm. that dream. Like, no, that's not it. And when you finally get the meaning of the dream, it's like, that sits well with my spirit. <laughs> and then there's no more fighting. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, there was a sense of peace that came with that uh, prophecy. So yeah. I am forever grateful. Thank you guys so much for all the requests that you've given us yes. for Subscriber Request Month. Mm -hmm. I really like this. I think I, I might try to. to do it again next year, if, yeah. if the Lord allows. Yes, if God will. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're going to take a few of those requests on into the next month mm -hmm. because we still have a few. A ton. Uh, so, um, yeah, we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled programming. Right, <laughs> starting <laughs> January. Our, yeah, back would... to Monday, Thursday. Right. And every other week, I'm still going to be doing my lives yep. on on Sabbath morning. Yep. So, yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, excited for 21. <laughs> yes, good things are ahead. Amen, I yes. receive it. <laughs> yes, stay focused on the Father. Amen. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. So when we were thinking about Arabella's name, uh, we knew a baby was on the way. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So, so, Arabella's name. I got a name. <laughs> this is impossible. Eliana. Arabella's name was picked. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This kid's worse no, than no. you were. Go, go ahead, mommy. When we